whipping all this dope, we'll build a trap out. People call you bitches that in trap out. What arguably could have been one of the best final series of all time, everyone wonders what could have happened if these two faced each other in the finals. So what I will be doing, I'll be choosing the best teams of each of these players while both players were still in the league. So because of that, I won't be choosing a Kobe Shaq duo team because the only time that that team was together was LeBron's first year and they didn't even win the finals. The two teams I'm picking, they will be facing each other in a seven game series to replicate an NBA finals. For Kobe's team, I'll be picking the 2008-2009 Los Angeles Lakers. This was Kobe's first title without Shaq, as him and Pau Gasol led them to a 65-17 record. While I know that Kobe's numbers aren't as dominant as his previous seasons in this season, I went with the best team success, not in terms of individual stats. For LeBron's team, I went the 2012-2013 Miami Heat, Posting a 66-16 record while also winning 27 games in a row at one point this year, I felt this was LeBron's best season as a team and also individual as he won his 4th MVP award. No, I will be giving this team the home court advantage because they had the better record. By the end of the first quarter in Game 1, the Los Angeles Lakers lead the Miami Heat 32-19. In the second quarter, the Lakers and the Miami Heat both tie it at 23 points, so the game's still a 13-point game. But the Miami Heat come out of the half firing. They outscore the Lakers 34-16 in the third and then take a 5 point lead going into the 4th quarter. But the Lakers dominate the 4th quarter and they end up winning the first game of the series on the road, 107-98. In the first game, the Lakers were led by Kobe Bryant with 25 points, 7 boards and 6 assists. And Pau Gasol with 14 points, 11 boards and 7 assists. The only good performer for the Miami Heat was LeBron as everyone else struggled with their shot. In the first quarter of Game 2, the Miami Heat lead the Lakers 31-23 as they get off to a hot shooting start. The Heat do again dominate in the second quarter, taking a 28-point lead going to the half. Besides the fourth quarter, the second half is much of the same as the Heat dominate the Lakers 108-85. In Game 2, the Lakers were again led by Kobe Bryant and Pal Gasol, but with Andrew Bynum also chipping in with 16 points. Wayne Wayne exploded in Game 2 for 30 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists, along with 2 steals and 2 blocks, while LeBron also had a solid performance. In Game 3 in Los Angeles, the Heat take a 2-point lead in the first quarter. The game remains closed as the Lakers take a 3-point lead going into the half. The third quarter is filled with offense, as the Miami Heat outscored them by 1, but the Lakers still have a 2-point lead. The Heat outscored the Lakers by 9 in the 4th, and they win the game 99-92. The Heat get solid play from mostly everybody on their team, leading a balanced attack. The Lakers are again led by Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol, but their efforts aren't enough as the rest of the team failed to show up. The first quarter in Game 4 is very close as the Heat have a 1 point lead going into the second. The Heat dominate in the second quarter, taking a 12 point lead into the half. The third quarter is close, but the Heat still have a 13 point lead. The Heat outscored the Lakers by 4 in the 4th quarter, giving them a 17 point win. Dwayne Wade continues his amazing play, leading them with 26 points. LeBron and Bosch also stepped up. Kobe and Gasol continue their consistent play, but nobody else once again steps up, leading them to another loss. The Heat have a 3 1 lead going into Game 5, but as we all know, 3 1 leads aren't always safe. But this time it is as the Heat beat the Lakers by 9 in Game 5 to give them the NBA Finals. As for the Finals MVP, these were the top two performers who at the series, but LeBron's all-around play gives it to him. Yeah, they hate, but they broke them. And when it's time to pop, they have no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm local. The loud got me moving slow-mo